For this STEM Bite, I was watching my old pal Bob Ross, and I thought we could chat about the physics of televisions. It used to be that all TVs were made the exact same way. Nowadays, depending on whether you have an LCD or a plasma TV, the exact physics of how it works can be a little different. But the essential concept of how televisions work remains the same. If I get really, really close, you can maybe just barely start to see that the whole TV image is made up of tiny little pixels. All television screens and computer monitors produce the images by varying how much red light, green light, and blue light is shown in every one of those pixels. With just those three primary colors of light, you can make every color in the rainbow, as Bob is showing us so beautifully here. Now the way a television makes those little pixels glow is where the really crazy physics comes in. In this case, we have a plasma TV. In the very thin sheet of glass that makes up the screen, there's a special combination of gases, neon and xenon. Now, those gases are trapped into millions of these tiny little pixels. To make that pixel glow, a small amount of electricity is applied across the pixel. That causes the gas to heat up and start to glow. The problem is when those ionized gases, or plasma, starts to glow, most of the light it gives off is in ultraviolet. If our TV just produced ultraviolet light, we'd never be able to see the image. This turns out to be really similar to how light bulbs work. Compact fluorescent bulbs like this one have the same kind of structure. Inside this glass tube is an inert gas. When it gets plugged in, the gas gets really hot, ionized, becomes a plasma, and gives off tons of ultraviolet light. The trick is that the inside surface of this light bulb is covered with what we call a phosphorescent material. The ultraviolet light gets absorbed by that phosphor and then it re-emits it as light we can see with our eyes. You can make different kinds of phosphorescent materials, ones that absorb UV and then shine red light, or absorb UV and shine blue light, or green light. This one happens to absorb UV and then shine blue, green, and red so that we get white light out. Each of the pixels in a plasma TV has different kinds of phosphors, ones that'll shine in red, green, and blue. By varying the amount of electricity that's run across each one of those pixels, you can ultimately create any color you want and any image you want across the whole screen. Let's see, which court show should I watch today? Stand by.